Hello students, my name is Sumit Mehta. So in today's lecture, we are starting a new chapter named as matrices. Okay, so let me write the definition of a matrix first. A matrix is an ordered rectangular array of numbers array of numbers or functions okay the number of functions are called the number or functions are called the elements are called the elements or the entries of the matrix or the entries of the matrix okay student so matrix can be of like this 1 0 0 1 this is a this is root 3 2 1 1 2 root 3 okay so it can be of any of the types okay now i will tell you how what is the order of a matrix okay these are the some basic terminologies uh, related with the matrices. A matrix having M rows and N columns is called a matrix is called a matrix of order m cross n okay so let me draw it okay so this element is a11 where first one denotes to let's say it is like a m n where first m denotes the row number and n denotes the column number so it is 1 1 it is 1 2 row 1 column 2 1 3 so like this up to n it, these are the elements of row 1 so that is why the first number here is 1 always and the second number goes of increasing it is 2 1 2 2 2 3 up to 2 n so similarly students it is n 1 uh, let's say number of rows are m m1 m2 like this it is mn so it is a matrix of order m cross n so i hope students now you are pretty clear about what is the order of matrix okay now let's discuss a uh, question based on this so students here we are given a question in which consider the following information regarding the number of men and number of women worker in three factories so in the factory number one we are given men are 30 in women are 25 so in two men are 25 women are 31 and in 3, 27 and 26 men and women respectively. So we need to represent the above information in the form of a 3 cross 2 matrix. Okay. So to make a 3 cross 2 matrix means student there should be 3 rows and 2 holes. Okay. So I will write this matrix is this 25, 31, 27 26 so this is a 3 cross 2 matrix representing this data okay now what he asked us next is 
what does the entry in the third row and second column represent so the third row is 1 2 3 and this entry is 26 okay and this entry represents the number of women in factory number 6 factory number 3 having woman is represented by women workers in factory so this is the uh, number representing this data okay so i hope students now you are pretty clear about what are matrices and how we represent the matrix in this form and what is the order of matrix okay and in the next lecture student we will discuss type of matrices okay so stay tuned for next lecture on type of matrices okay thank you students happy learning